Okay. Hotel Rwanda is is fiction. Okay. It's it's fiction. It's Hollywood. You know, trying to make a buck. Rusia mm. Savajina is not a hero. Simply put, he's a genocide denier. He's a negationist. He supports terrorists. Alright, you My name is Desiree, this is Precision TV. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Welcome to the show. This is Precision TV, my name is Desiree, of course. I'm sure that today it's gonna be a great day because I brought you an activist, a blogger, a writer. I can tell it's everything. He's here today, he's uh, gonna introduce himself. Um, I'm not gonna introduce you, or how are you doing? I'm doing well, thank you, and it's a pleasure to welcome you to our home. All right. All right. Uh, and uh, I would like to commend you for uh, what Precision TV does to, to tell Rwanda's story, which is our story. Uh, and unless we tell it, other people will tell it and it won't be told correctly. Shalita, who, who are you? Well, I'm a, I'm a proud Rwandan. Uh, was born in Rwanda, in Ibiumba, uh, but didn't live in Rwanda much. Uh, lived most of my life in, uh, in Uganda uh, until I came to the U.S. in 1972. However, uh, Rwanda lives in my heart. I'm a Rwandan by, by birth. I'm an activist by choice. And I choose to tell the world uh, the progress we have made in the last 25 years which has been an amazing, an amazing journey. Uh, a journey of resilience, a journey of uh, a people determined to bring their country from the abyss to where we are today. Uh, being a Rwandan for you, what does it mean exactly? Well, it means uh, that, you know, out of, uh, out of our exile, out of our uh, fight to return home from, uh, from being refugees, it behooves every Rwandan to, to participate in the development of Rwanda. Uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a journey that has been uh, very historical. Very few people have come from exile and uh, claimed their country. Mm. And that's really one for the history books. All oh, right, and one, and one that we should be proud of. You just say that you came in the U.S. in 1970, 72? 72. 72. That's a long time ago. It's a so, long time, but, but I, I, I wonder. Imagine why did you left like that long ago? What what, what was the reason? Mm -hmm. I came to the U.S. to to go to school, and after school, you know, these were, you know. Uh, the days of Idi Amin and the country, Uganda was unstable and there was really no, nowhere to go and not much to do. Politically it was unstable uh, and not safe. So I ended up, uh, you know, staying these 47 some years mm -hmm. in, uh, in the U.S. But I never forgot where I came from. Awesome. That is the, the, the audacity of every Rwandan uh, because we collectively refuse to remain stateless. Mm -hmm. uh, let me go ahead and start over. After you came into U.S. in 1972, you finished your school. Wh how did you, you just say that uh, you choose it by just... You know, it came right away and you choose to be an activist. Why did you choose being an activist well, my acti instead of doing yes, something else? indeed, indeed. My activism goes back to 1959. I refuse to refer it to the revolution, a social revolution. No, it was not a revolution. It was indeed a genocide, much as uh, people refuse to acknowledge that. Mm -hmm. uh, in fact, had there been no 59, 
I don't think 94 would have happened because the planners of the genocide in 94 wanted to finish what they started in 1959. To, to call it uh, a social revolution is uh, incorrect. And so my activism began then because I remember 1959 seeing uh, Rwandans fleeing Rwanda, uh, Rwanda to Uganda. Uh, I remember people fleeing into our home with you know, machete wounds, uh, mm -hmm. pregnant women who had been uh, abused. Uh, from then on, I decided that if not me, then who? So it, it's been, it, it should be a collective effort by all Rwandans to make Rwanda what it is today. Mm -hmm. uh, you, you, you mentioned that uh, it's something that uh, changed the whole world, not only Rwanda, where everybody want to go today. And, and I, know, I noticed that uh, there are still people who still denying this beauty of Rwanda and uh, this uh, growth in all, um, all things. How, how will you respond to those kind of people? Well, you know, the facts speak for themselves. The beauty of Rwanda, the, the, the people we are, uh, we are a people that have taken Rwanda from the abyss in 1994 to make it an example on the African continent, if not uh, in the world. Uh, it's, uh, it's, if you will, the audacity of hope that Rwandans have that has made it possible for us to have made the progress that we have. Do you sometime talk to uh, or USA American people about the beauty of your country? Oh yes, I you know every chance I get mm -hmm. uh, because the, the progress Rwanda has made ha has been amazing uh, compared it to our neighbors or any African country. Uh, look at our economy. Look at the social programs that. Uh, uh, President Kagame has put in place. Uh, it's, it's an incredible, incredible achievement of a people that were at one time stateless. Uh, those who deny what's going on in Rwanda, well, they, they can uh, yes, they, they can sing all they want, but okay. you know, the facts are there to, to be seen. Genocide denial is nothing new. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, uh, it's as old as history. Um, I mean, look at the, the Jewish Holocaust. To this day, there are people who denied that it took place. So I'm not surprised. I'm not discouraged. It's a, it's a fact of history. Mm -hmm. uh, the evidence is there. Uh, also, the evidence is there that uh, in 94, when we were dying by the thousands, mm -hmm. the world did nothing. So we, we should be the messengers of our journey. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm glad and proud to be a very small part of this incredible Work. historical uh, journey that we have been on. Mm -hmm. uh, let me go back uh, on your uh, blog. Uh, it called Rwandan Voice. Why did you decide to call it Rwandan Voice? It, it, it's my way of telling our story. Uh, I'm, I'm in no way suggesting that I speak for all Rwandans or for Rwanda, but I am one of voices out there that must tell our story. Mm -hmm. uh, a Rwandan voice is, uh, in a nutshell, telling the world about our story, about our progress, about our dreams. And I would encourage every Rwandan of good hope mm -hmm. to do the same. All right, all right. That means in your, in your blog, you always talk about a, a Rwandan achievement and story. T yeah, tell uh, us more about it. It's, 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 many people will be interested in knowing exactly what do you do. Because some people might not know that uh, there is anyone can be a voice of a million of people right uh, the, uh, which is which is what you are doing right now as you have seen Rwandan voice uh, 
underneath it is unfiltered thoughts, uh, which gives me uh, a free, a free hand to discuss anything pertaining to Rwanda, mm -hmm. uh, pertaining to the progress we've made. Uh, it, it gives me a chance to 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 fight those who deny that we have made progress, that today, as never before, we are all Rwandans, not, not Tutsi, not Hutu, not Twa, but we are, for the first time in our history, mm -hmm. uh, looking at Rwanda as one entity and one people with a common goal to make Rwanda an example on the African continent. You know, who am I to say, but I would like to encourage every Rwandan inside Rwanda and in the diaspora to tell our story. Our story is an amazing story. It's a story of resilience. It's a story of, of hope. The audacity of hope among Rwandans is an amazing, an amazing uh, trait. Uh, and like I said, if we don't tell that story, who's going to tell it? Uh, so many books have been written about Rwanda, about the genocide against Tutsi. But more often than not, that story is not told correctly. Uh, let me touch again on your history, I mean, on Rwandan history, mm. about the genocide. Uh, I noticed that uh, all Americans, <clears throat> wherever you go to school, to work, they know about hotel Rwanda. Mm -hmm. This movie has been like incredible movie and uh, right now I know the reason why I'm asking you this is because it had been a conference in San Antonio, Texas that you were there that uh, this guy Rose Savagina was also being a part of this conference. Right. Uh, what was about and uh, what was the main thing about it? Well, for the record, let's uh, okay. Hotel Rwanda is is fiction. Okay. It's it's fiction. It's Hollywood, you know, trying to make a buck. It's uh, it's not it's not a record of what happened. And this this uh, imposter, the so-called humanitarian Paul Sesabajina, has made a fortune on the misfortune of, of Rwandans. It's uh, he's an insult to the survivors of the genocide. He's an insult to those so, so who needlessly died. He didn't die. save people? He did not save people. And, you know, people happened to be at ho uh, Hotel Mill Colleen because it was the, one of the most secure locations in Kigali. Mm -hmm. uh, he, he had nothing to do with it. And the, the evidence from those who were inside the hotel uh, tells us that uh, he, he, he was paid. So it, it wasn't out of the goodness of his heart uh, to save these people. And for the last 25 years, he's, uh, he's made a fortune because, unfortunately, uh, Americans, uh, uh, Americans tend to glorify anybody who, in the eyes of Hollywood, is, uh, is a hero. Rusia mm -hmm. Savajina is not a hero. Simply put, he's a genocide denier, he's a negationist, he supports terrorist uh, organizations who are bent on destabilizing Rwanda. But people, it's that simple. But people still, people knows that he's a hero. As saving those people, you will say that he's a hero no, those, according those, to, to yeah. that time. Those who th think Rusia Savajina is a hero are people who don't know our story. They don't know th what happened in Rwanda. Uh, mostly these are foreigners who really see Hotel Rwanda as uh, you know, a, a nice story told by Hollywood. Uh, that he got a presidential medal for it, in, in, in my interpretation, is because uh, um, America was trying to appease the international community for having failed to, uh, to intervene and stop the genocide. Because when you listen to Rousseau Sabadina very carefully, 
he speaks in 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 chords in uh, in uh, you know the dog whistles for instance uh, during the last event uh, that i attended in san antonio he 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 refers to the refugees coming home as newcomers we are not newcomers we are rwandans and we were doing what anybody would do we were going back home but for him to say we are newcomers if that's not hate speech what is it mm. uh, and if, if he's listening if he's watching i i invite him to to a public debate Probably Let's see. I'll invite him Please too. do, please do. All right, uh, all right. Which way are you trying maybe to go? Or where do you think you will arrive? Or where do you want to go being an activist? As, you know, burning issues in my heart is to, one, to fight the genocidaires who are outside of Rwanda denying that the genocide against Tutsi happened. It did happen, uh, and we must continuously tell the world what took place during those hundred dark days in 1994. Second, I am very committed to tracking down those with bloody hands, especially here in America. And there are very many who are hiding under pseudonyms, uh, who haven't been tracked down, uh, because if we don't do it, justice will not have been served. Mm -hmm. Justice should not only be done, have you, it should be seen to be done. Have you read any book about this uh, activism that you're doing? I am in the process of putting down my thoughts in, uh, in book form. Uh, I'm also trying to compile uh, my blogs into a readable uh, format. Mm -hmm. uh, doing your best, doing uh, what you do right now, or do you think maybe people are on your side or there are still people who are still not on your side? Well, there are so many people who, who, deny, uh, who deny the genocide. Uh, should, we, should we be concerned? Of course we should, but our story will come through, our story will be told by what we do, uh, by the programs the government puts in force. Look, look at, uh, for instance, Gachacha. Gachacha has tried thousands and thousands of people compared to the International Crimes uh, uh, Tribunal for Rwanda in Arusha. After spending $9 billion, they only tried 50 people. Uh, we, we, Rwanda has come up with incredible homegrown solutions. Uh, in addition to Gachacha, uh, look at uh, Nyakatsi. There is not a single grass thatched house in, no in more. Rwanda. No, no more. more. Uh, there is uh, another program of uh, Jiringa where families are given uh, a cow for the sustenance. Uh, how about uh, uh, you know, cleaning our own country, uh, um, Uganda. Mm -hmm. This is unheard of. No other African country has done what we have done. And if if you guys doesn't tell people, nobody will know that. Uh, absolutely. And let me go back a little bit about the same topic. Uh, you wrote about the genocide against Tutsi Hexbit in Texas, Dallas. Yes. Uh, what it was about, and uh, who was uh, the main guest over there? No, it's uh, it's uh, the it's uh, the Holocaust Museum in Dallas, mm -hmm. and uh, they tried to uh, make a record of all the genocides that have happened in the last oh, okay. in the last hundred years. That and, was not only Rwanda. no, no, not only Rwanda, but Rwanda is featured uh, very prominently, mm. and. I couldn't commend them m more than m more than I have because uh, uh, it's it's part of creating our own historical record. Okay, have you? Uh, let me ask you. It's it's gonna be a simple question, mm -hmm. but have you considered one day being a senate or someone else in a <laughs> in a parliament? No, I, I, I choose to speak from, 
from the comfort of my home. Mm -hmm. uh, thank God I'm retired, so I have nothing but time on my hands. Uh, I, I, I'll continue to speak out for Rwanda, about Rwanda, until the last days of my life. People will think like maybe you study politics. Uh, what, what did yeah. you study in your career or what was your career before being an activist? I, uh, I'm a journalist by training uh, and after that I joined uh, the, the State Bar of California invest, investigating lawyers. So which which has come in handy mm, in trying to track in trying to track down uh, genus dares. Uh -huh. uh, it, it's uh, I think it's something that every Rwandan should do as as as, as a calling uh, because uh, collectively we are all ambassadors of, of, of Rwanda wherever we are. Uh, when people want to see what you do. Like uh, uh, those books, uh, like all this blog, Rwandan Voice, I already, uh, already know this for a long time, mm -hmm. but I don't know about others, where they can get all this, because people deserve to know what you do, but do you have any platform that you use to share all your work? Well, fortunately, in these days of Google, you just Google my name with a shalit and uh, it's all there for you to see. Uh, hopefully, as, you know, in the coming years, I will, I will do more, more writing about Rwanda, about our journey, about our, our hopes and dreams. Mm -hmm. uh, it can't all be done by, by the government. No, it, it's a collective uh, responsibility of all Rwandans to participate. So being a Rwandan here in the U.S. for a long time and now there are a lot of Rwandans coming in day, today's day, uh, they might spend some time with you. Uh, do you guys maybe have any uh, Rwandan community where here where you live? or you just meet sometime randomly or how do you guys meet well, here, here, because here. it might help if if you guys have this and maybe americans will know better about who you guys are well here in the city of uh, of austin we, we you know we are in the process of forming uh, a community of rwandans uh, for sure we do meet on uh, uh, during April Kwiwoka uh, mm -hmm. uh, and to make sure that we don't lose sight of where we have been. Uh, just because we may be American citizens doesn't negate the fact that we are Rwandans. Mm -hmm. I, I choose to think that I'm a Rwandan by the grace of God. <laughs> All right, this is Sharita again. He's an activist. It's our end of our interview. Uh, this uh, was awesome to us, and thank you for your visit.